In this lesson, you will receive an overview on the backlog module. Let's go to the backlog module. In the backlog module, you can see you have the overview in the middle and you have two main tools on each side, left and right. On the left side, you have the tree tool, which is useful to focus on a specific area of your backlog, for instance, on an APIC. The tree tool has two levels. One is the APIC level and the second level is the feature level. Microfocus ALM Octane support price agile frameworks such as Safe, Spotify and others. On the right hand side you will find the three sub tools for planning, filtering which you know from other modules as well and the preview tool which is also available in other modules as well. The planning tool allows you to plan your backlog on specific releases. So you can see here I have two releases. One is AOS 1.0 and the other one is AOS 2.0 with the start and end date. Both releases are over. I can see here the total, uh, total work I have planned to do what I have done and what's still remaining and I can see this directly on the release bucket. On the top of this module you will find the releases. Octane allows you to work in context of specific releases like I would want to see what is my current status for open defect and feature quality for release 1.0. So I can select this release and you can see my release is over. I was able to cover the most of the topics, fix the defects and close them as well as I have a good quality across different features. I can also drill down this view on different sprints if needed. And the view will get updated. Same I can do for milestones. And I have a time plan, a timeline, which I can click on it and it will open a dialog to display the timeline. Now let's click on the second release. You see, I can also view the content of two releases together or disable one to see only focused context of one release. Here I can see a total summary of my current release 2.0 with its current progress. I still have few open defects. Some of them are new and the feature quality is still not very good. You may have realized while I was selecting the releases the content on the tree changed as well. So I have the possibility to select a release to see what was the content of the release as well as drill down on the content itself like the APIC Capital Market to see its progress and even further to drill down on specific features which are part of that release and the APIC. Let's release the filter now. And I can go up to see now a completely independent view of my backlog without any releases in context. Let's go back to the top root level. Now I can see when I'm, I selected the backlog root, I see APIC features, backlog items and test. And basically the more you go from left to right, the more detail 
you will get in LM Octane. Like currently I'm in APIC, so I can select here one APIC, you will see APIC will disappear and I'm focusing on this context only. And if I click on details, I can see here the APIC information which has been entered, what items this APIC has in which releases, and also here the current progress. I can even further drill down and look at the features of this APIC, which provides me a good understanding on what's going on and where my current features are in progress. And I can also view the whole backlog list for this APIC, including all the features. On this APIC, I have in total 94 backlog items. And sure, I can also view the test for this APIC. So let's select now a feature to even further drill down. Let's go to Advantage Mobile Store Database. And you see, feature will disappear from the tabs. I have backlog items. I can see on that feature context, I have in total 19 backlog items and no tests. And on that backlog item, I can do the planning just by selecting the backlog items and dragging it dropping to the different release buckets. They will be assigned just by dropping it. I can also expand a bucket and say I would like to assign this content directly to one of the teams in the bucket for the whole release. Or I can drill down even further to a sprint and then assign these items to the team for that specific sprint. In my case, sprint number two. And in this way, I can do the planning of my backlog module, of my backlog items in the backlog module for different releases and just drag and drop the items of my backlog list for the release and sprint planning.